now what i will do uh, i'll just go ahead uh, we are going to see this is the flow actually okay this is the pipeline flow uh, today right we are going to see the multiple uh, uh, phases i'll tell you what exactly i'm going to have my jenkins uh, Okay, I'm having a Jenkins uh, now. Uh, what I will do, I'll be having my own GitHub repo. Okay, from GitHub, right? We take the source code and everything. Once the source code has been taken from here, once source code has been taken from here, what I will do, I'll just uh, uh, going to make a two pipelines basically. Okay, my first pipeline is. Okay, I'm going to have a three pipelines. So just uh, let's assume it. Okay, so I have a uh, customer requirement. First customer requirement is uh, what we can going to have. I need to set up a okay end to end uh, Docker uh, Docker engine. Okay, end to end I need to set up a Docker engine with the images. Okay, the, the, from the scratch, right? I need to set up end to end uh, Docker setup. Uh, so, end to end means complete, okay, uh, complete a Docker engine and the respective you know, images, everything we are going to uh, uh, set it up. Okay, uh, so whatever the images are really needed, uh, the basic scratch setup. See, when any uh, customer uh, needs uh, in, in our project, when customer needs, uh, any Docker setup, new brand new Docker setup, they can come simply, they can launch this uh, Jenkins pipeline. This pipeline will uh, do all these things for you. Entire activity, right? Uh, which the pipeline will take care. You don't want to do manually anything. Okay. So, installing, uh, updating a local package, uh, installing uh, Docker uh, application, uh, starting the services of Docker and the Docker images bringing from the Docker of repo, all those things, right? The Jenkins will be taking care. Even the person who doesn't know the big background of Docker, right? This pipeline will take care of it. This is one of the example. Okay. Similarly, we are going to have a another one example, which is okay. Which is I am going to build my own custom custom Docker image for my client requirement for my application. Okay, so I, I'm having a Docker where I need to create my own customized uh, image actually. Okay, that way, right? I need to create another pipeline. So there are some other third example. No, we can even see. Uh, I have another pipeline. Uh, this pipeline, right? Maybe uh, what we can say. This pipeline, maybe uh, we would we would tell like uh, uh, I have a 
Kubernetes uh, cluster. Okay, I have a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so in this Kubernetes cluster, right? I need to deploy something. Okay, in Kubernetes, I need to you know I need to create some uh, deployment. Okay, I need to set up you know any replicas, or I need to set up a pod. I need to set up a services. Okay, I need to create an ingress. Whatever. Okay, uh, for that right, I am going to create my own pipeline. So in my, I don't want to log into any of the Kubernetes or nothing. If I am able to log into my Jenkins, right? If I am able to uh, user when he is logging to the Jenkins, he'll be able to perform all the activity. So for all this activity, right? We are going to for all this activity, right? We are going to make a pipeline. If you understand the one logic, right, it will be easy. So try to understand it. We can make that as a repeated mode. We can create all the pipelines. Before understanding that, the process looks very bigger. But once you understood, right, it will become very much easy. Right? When the user is logging the Jenkins, he don't want any Docker access, the AWS console access, uh, Kubernetes deployment access. If you have a Jenkins pipeline, he'll be able to perform all this activity. The special and the other uh, different uh, thing about all these resources, right? Basically, from Jenkins will be reaching out to my. For example, I have a Kubernetes special. Just imagine. Okay, I have a my own Kubernetes cluster. Just imagine this way. Yeah, my cluster is being provisioning in the back end. That's fine. Okay, it's creating without any error. Yeah. So in order to interact, I cannot directly interact, right? I need only EC2 instance or any any any, any interface. Okay. I need one VM. So basically, what my Q Jenkins will do, right? Uh, even this is my pipelines, all all I'm good. Okay, understanding the pipeline and things are getting done, all I'm fine. Okay, this is the one. You can explain them the same uh, process in your even in your interview. Okay, there are three scenarios, those three pipelines we are going to see. Okay, now what my Jenkins is going to do? So from my Jenkins, right, for all these pipelines. Okay, from my, all my pipelines, right? Okay, from my Jenkins. From my Jenkins, I need to reach out to this VM. Uh, only then the VM, through VM only, I'll be interacting with my Kubernetes cluster. Correct. For that, we are going to use there is a plugin called SSH agent. Okay, there is a plugin called Jenkins plugins. 
which is something called SSH hyphen agent. Okay, we need to install that plugin. Only then, my Jenkins will, uh, through the SSH agent, it will be interacting in my uh, VMs. Okay, so all these things are happening in the AWS environments, right? So, what I need to do, I need to address uh, somewhere around, you know, few prerequisites, uh, which is I need to add my credentials over here in the Jenkins. How Jenkins has uh, GitHub connectivity with GitHub credentials. Such a similar way, I need to make sure. Uh, Jenkins credential, something like uh, my AWS EC2 key pair. Okay, GitHub. Okay, GitHub credential, all these things, right? We're supposed to address it. We need to add it on Jenkins credentials. Okay, so this is how the process is gonna work. Okay, now our, now our action plan, right? Uh, this is what works exactly. So first I'll be having my Jenkins server. Okay, here I'll be naming my Jenkins server as a master. We can have a master and slave configuration that's separate you know, concept. Uh, this is will be my master Jenkins server. From the master, I'm going to set up a three pipeline. I'm going to add my credential and all and get credential and easy to credential, everything I'm going to add it. So then I'm going to make these three pipelines. Okay, then I'll be installing my SSH agent. Okay, I'll tell you what are the steps. Okay, step by step, I'll tell you. Once you are created your Jenkins server, first you need to change your label, master, this is a point number one. Second, you need to add the credential, point number two. Third, you need to add the plugins, point number three. Fourth, you'll be start working on the pipeline, point number four. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me go to my Jenkins console. 